Everybody, welcome to the Artery and Smoke with Phil Jost. I am Phil Jost. Let's get started. Hey, look, we're in Modesto, California. Let this, let's get this uh, video rolling. And we're always looking at volume, velocity, density, color, trying to understand where the fire is, where it's going, and then what we can do about it. This is going to be a really quick fire attack here as uh, they get this interesting cord line set up. Other people are going to start masking up, etc. We're going to get a good look at the door. You already had a little bit of look at the door. You can go back and check that out. Uh, but let us let me get it right here. Oh, if I can. Perfect. All right. So neutral plane right below the bottom of the window. So the intake right here on the door, right below, right the bottom half of the door. Lots of flame coming out here now. Uh, we know that's already flashed over, but recognize this is a lot of fuel, right? Smoke is fuel. This is a lot of fuel. It's being consumed. And so there's obviously a significant fire here, but there's a fresh air intake here at the bottom of the door. And they're going to start with an external fire attack, right? So they're going to start external, then they're going to get internal uh, really pretty quickly. Uh, the thing we're going to see here is they're going to start this external fire attack. They're external. They're on plane, right? So on plane is the most effective fire attack. So this is an external on plane fire attack. Obviously significant fire. It's, what's interesting, sometimes when you see like a lot of flames like this, people think, oh, that's there is no intake. But you can see clearly here that there's an intake at the bottom of the store. And I'm going to pause it right when he, when he gets this nozzle open. Uh, so let me... Right there, right? So the fire attack hasn't started quite yet. So that's 49 seconds. Let's start 50. Um, he's going to start external fire attack. He's going to shut it down and then mask up, and then they're going to get inside. And it's overall still pretty quick. I mean, less than a minute to get water flowing. For fire attacks, we're always looking for the visual, right? The reading smoke cues that the fire attack is effective is a rapid decrease in the velocity and density of smoke. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to think about this velocity. This is high velocity, and clearly there's a lot of fuel, right? Without the flame, there'd be a lot. Think about, like, visualize how much smoke would be coming out of here if it wasn't getting consumed by the fire itself. It's going to start the fire attack. I'll let it go until he stops, but I see really uh, a lot of the flames going away very, 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 very quickly, right? It's going to shut it down right in there. Okay, so we're talking about like 10 seconds of water here. 10 seconds of water. Let's figure that's even 175 GPM nozzle. I don't, it's probably in the 160 range would be my guess. So we're only talking, right? So one sixth of that we're talking about, you know, roughly probably 25 to 30 gallons of water applied. Okay, so not a lot of water, but done pretty effectively. And that's what we're going to measure visually. The velocity, volume, velocity, density, color here. Uh, clearly, we still have a fairly high volume, not as high as it was, a uh, turbulent thick. Now, I would call this black just because it's turbulent, even though it's got some gray in it, which is from that water vapor. But look what's happened to the neutral plane. The neutral plane is way up high now, right? And so the temperatures at the floor are way down. And uh, you can see this is the stairwell that goes to floor two. So in that 10 seconds of water, just think what's happened to the amount of smoke and heat that's been tra getting transmitted upstairs through this stairwell. And they've stopped all of that in a hurry, right? The neutral plane's lifted. I would, I would guess, like if I think about uh, the NIST and UL studies, I would guess that the, the, the uh, floor temperatures here have gone from near 1,000 to in the 300 to 350 range. That would be my guess. Uh, but we're going to take a look here. Other firefighters are going to come into the picture. They're going to get going in here. You're going to see uh, they're going to talk about the truck companies getting ahead of the engine company as far as the search itself goes. But masked up quickly, ready to go, gets inside here, gets started. Right. So we're talking about probably another 8 to 10 seconds of water here. A little different angle, so coating different surfaces. And you could have seen the stairwell there. Uh, as the truck gets ahead of them, still not done, right? So there's still some turbulence here, still not done. There's definitely a fire still in this place. It's a decrease from what we saw before, but it's definitely not just turbulent or uh, laminar thin, right? We're still looking at turbulent thick, telling us there's still a fire in that place somewhere. 
and they're going to get in there, and you're going to be able to see it. Now, of course, once it gets in here a little ways and starts fire attack, uh, the the visibility is going to go away completely. But this is pretty good visibility in here right now. Um, you know, it would be hard to see people necessarily, but uh, you can see all the way through to the back of the place. You can, you can see out the back door there, and then we can see additional fire here, right? So that fire is going to have to get knocked out. So from the, okay, we've got to think about what he accomplished in that 10 seconds. Was all the fire, like, from here all the way in front of this place, he killed all that fire with that first fire attack, right? Now there's still fire left in here, still good to occupy the space, still good to get in there and check check and see if there's people, which they did not find. But that's an effective fire attack. It's not a complete fire attack. It's not a finished fire attack. It's just a good start to an effective fire attack by the firefighters of the Modesto Fire Department. So... Volume, velocity, density, color, understand the neutral plane, see what you can do, how fast you can get that uh, water flowing. And then effective fire attack is a rapid decrease in the velocity and density of smoke, which we saw here. But we can also see that there was more fire, right? We were pretty effective, but there's still more fire. And they get in there and they locate it. All right. So for the Art of Reading Smoke, Phil Jost. I'm Phil Jost and I'm out.